What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are. Eighties NBA players cannot compete with today's NBA players. Period. Ready to dive in, see what we got. Before we do, y'all know I need y'all to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Gil, talk to us. 80s basketball, right? It was tougher. Shut up. Let it go. <laughs> 80s cannot <clears throat> compete with 90s, 2000s, and now. It is a pointless argument. Mm. Bill uh -oh. and Beer cannot play basketball today, right? His defense does not work today. The things that you guys glorify in, which is hard fouls, not Facts. better defense, yeah. hard Facts. fouls. If you Facts. let the people who were brutally hurting people, they were not all defensive players. <laughs> A no. defensive player is playing within the rules, <laughs> stopping you. Yeah. Like, like yeah. on the offensive end, like if we can play offense how they play defense, just give me the ball, let me run with it and go score. It's illegal. It's illegal. But if I can do that, I can say I'm the best scorer in the league. You're just clotheslining players. You're just hurting players. That was, it was a lot of hard fouls. I'm not saying everybody was doing it. I, I believe greatness transcends errors. You know, so if you're great, if you're truly one of the elite players of your era or your generation, then you could play in any era. You know, I'm sure you, you could, you'd be able to adapt. You'd figure it out because that's what greatness does. But for a lot of other players that, like you said, that were glorified for basically just fouling people hard, like, could they play in today's NBA? No, you'd foul out. You'd be ejected. You'd be suspended. You'd be cut from the league. Uh, and so that's what a lot of people, when they say the game is soft, I understand it because it was more physical back then. But some of that physicality is not basketball that the, that, that you miss. When you're clotheslining people out of air or you're knocking people out of midair, with a very high chance of hurting them when they land, like, now it's, it's, uh, there's no room for that in a game. That shouldn't have been allowed in any era. Uh, but when you're talking about just a lot being physical uh, without, like, foul calls, because now you, you can't be as physical 100%, I understand where you're coming from from that perspective. I can say I'm the best scorer in the league. You're just clotheslining players. You're just hurting players. And that's how it was. The less talented, stuff the talent. That's it. Facts. The talent, Facts. Like, but you're not going to find your Dennis Rodman mindsets today. And I mean Dennis Rodman mindsets, not on the court, off the court. You're not going to find players sitting there, leaving the gym, no shower, going to the club, clubbing all night and got a game tomorrow. You're not doing that today. With no shower? Right, oh. you're not doing that today. You're not in, <laughs> you're not in Vegas all night gambling <laughs> and then flying in that, that morning to play a basketball game. You're, those, these players today are not doing. These players today are sitting in the gym. They will mollywop your asses, you 80s. For real. Y'all acting like y'all was in the gym six, seven hours a day. You weren't. Stop the bullshit. Stop acting like you guys were just glorifying here, sitting there, learning game plays, learning habits, and then you guys were half you alcoholics. <laughs> Today, you guys are all yellow eyed, looking like aliens out there. Yellow eyed bandits. You just, like, but I'm serious. No, but th this is the thing you talk about Wilt, and, and we know Wilt more for the off the court stuff than average of 50. But when he was playing with the Sixers, he had like a nightclub in New York, Harlem, Brooklyn, somewhere. I just remember my pops telling me, and he was going and turning up every single night. So things are different for this day and age, but we also have more resources, more technology. It's just more advanced. Obviously, nights are shooting, not playing in the chucks. So you got to just take each period for what it is. Yeah, take it for what it is and leave your little goofy asses in your area. That's what I agree with. I agree with take each era for what it is. I think the problem happens when you start trying to compare every single error and try to uh, critique and not critique uh, different errors for different things. 
And that's when people get upset and they're like, okay, well, yeah, well, we doing this in that, our era, but y'all was doing this in y'all era. They was doing that in they era. That, and then it turns into everybody critique. And then fans of each era, of course, are going to start trying to pick apart and say, why well, their era is the best, why well, their era is better. I think you just appreciate the game for what it is. Appreciate that the game is going to change. It's going to continue to evolve. Uh, players are going to continue to change. They're going to continue to evolve. And, uh, I mean, basketball wasn't, wasn't in, it's not going to stay the same it, from the beginning of creation of basketball to the end. It's not going to be the same game. Rules are going to change. Thing, players are going to change. The way it's played is going to change. Coaching is going to change. Schemes are going to change. All of that's it's, it's going to continue to change. So if you are not a fan of change, then yeah, I understand why you, why you just like your era and you don't want to continue to watch. Change. Say like, oh, if, yeah, yeah. If, he, if, if, uh, if, if LeBron was in our era, you know, we would stop him. LeBron like 260. Bro, yeah. First of all, you smell like gin. All right, he's running right through. <laughs> right, he's running right through you. I mean, come on. Like when I came into the NBA, when I 2001 cocaine boom out of the socks. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Let's think about this. Who f think about how high or dumb you have to be to play in an NBA game with it in your sock, not in your locker, not in your bag, in your sock in the game. <laughs> on the bench, on the bench, the 14th and 15th player, Gatorade bottle, two Bud Lights, Fill it up, drink it by the fourth quarter. It sounded like fans. <laughs> right? Like, and you telling me that you guys in the 80s, bro, think y'all are going to guard players today in the whole ideal is we fouled you? And you got to think about when we're talking about hacking, I think um, Isaiah Thomas said this. He said, and he's right, the bad boys fouled Michael Jordan. I didn't foul Michael Jordan like that. Joe Dumars didn't foul Michael Jordan like that. No, the players who actually played defense did not. The average, like when you talk about the Gary Paytons, when you're talking about the Scotty Pimpers, the Michael Jordans, um, those guys who were defensive players, they, they, the reason they were great at defense is because they were playing within the rules of the game. Mm. The players who just hacked the shit out of you. <laughs> those guys are not considered defensive players. They're just hackers, right? Basically. So you're telling me that, you know, you're just going to hack me and I'm going to shoot free throws? Like, how does, like, uh, if it didn't work in the 80s, why the f is it going to work against us? Like, it's just, it's just, the concept is just so stupid. I appreciate you for saying this, Gil. They're just, they're just, they're just stupid. Old heads are going to come for you, but nah, they, 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 they probably, they're going to, when they probably respond, they're going to be drunk anyway. They can't, they can't be yeah. drunk. The 80s is just a bunch of drunks. I think <clears throat> you're just going to continue to hear it. It's soft, it's soft, it's soft, it's soft. But when it comes to skill level, like, the game is more skilled than it's ever been. And it's going to continue to get even more skilled. Players are going to continue to get even more skilled. And it's, it's just how it goes. But uh, that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.